Okay, good evening, everyone. Dr. Freedom here with you. Time for some doctor news. I know it's been too long. Oh, man, it's been crazy, but uh, still taking care of Lady Gallifrey if she needs me here. So I figured I'd pop up one, you know, while there was a bunch of stuff going on and the fact that we got the Wedding of River song coming next week. Now, I know a lot of people are psyched out because Star Wars has come out and some morons apparently have already tried going around posting spoilers on various outlets. All I can tell you is, you know, if you want to avoid spoilers, completely disconnect from the internet, go dig a bunker and crawl into it for about a month until you get a chance or until you get a chance to see the movie. Uh, or sit, basically, don't even watch television. They'll flip one there, too. You know they will. But, okay, let's get to the Doctor Who news, shall we? Let's get on. Let's go take a look at what we're going to look at because I'm going to warn you right now. This one's going to have some spoilers in it for the, you know, the, the husbands of River Song. So get ready. And away we go. Okay, first off, uh, this was over on Blogger, and this was from the other yesterday. Uh, this is pictures from the Christmas special London premiere. Oh, look, oh, cute little missiles toe shot there. And there's a bunch of beautiful shots here, you know, these folks. And, of course, this is the guy who's playing, you know, King Hydroflax. And, yeah, you know, like I said, I warned you beforehand, here it comes. Okay, bank transfer sphere, whatever that may be, River Song's fragrance bottle. And then we go further down into this stuff here. That don't look so good. And there is the Sonic Trowel, uh, River Song's diary. And this is the big one. Looky, looky here in the gift box, ladies and gentlemen. Does that look familiar or not? Very familiar, doesn't it? Yes, that is most definitely the sonic screwdriver that River is carrying all the way back in Silence in the Library Forest of the Dead. So apparently it's looking like um, the 12th Doctor... And there's the pictures apparently she has of the Doctor in all his various incarnations. But of course, as we've noticed, Peter Capaldi's Doctor is not included in that lineup. So, okay, but back to this. This is very important. It seems that, yes, we're finally getting what a lot of fans have been jumping up and down going, how she get the Sonic Screwdriver? It's going to get answered next week in the Husbands of River song. I don't know. I keep getting tempted to say the wedding or river song, and I know it's not the episode. You know, so if I have, you know, please, you know, just give it a go figure because you know it's been a long week. Okay, did Doctor gets two new writers for series ten. Moffat says that their names will make your brain explode. Now, Moffat's, you know, sorry, Doctor Who fans who are hungry for news on series ten can save their appetite with this fact: away. two new writers will be joining the show. Moffat, the sci-fi, you know, the showrunner of the series, made the announcement last night. Of course, at the screening of the last year of this year's Christmas special, the husband's a river song quote. We're already moving on the next series. We had meetings today with two writers who've never written for doctor before. If I told you their names, your name, your brain would explode. And he goes, they wake up. He did at least identify the newbies as being brilliant, prominent and amazing writers. Hold the phone. We've had meetings today with two writers who've never written Doctor Who before. Now, I'm please tell me that the writing's already done for the next series. Otherwise, things are not looking too well. You know, like I said, I don't want to sound like an alarmist, but if they haven't got everything already started to be hammered out in the drafts and whatnot by now, then when are they going to start filming? Well, that's the big question on everybody's mind. When is Series 10 going to start filming? And that's the one I still can't get an answer to. If anyone knows anything, pass it to me. I'll see what I can find out. I'll confirm it. Okay, if I told you their names, your brain would explode. But he did identify them as brilliant, prominent, and amazing writers. So it kind of makes you, you know, weird now as the guess who's been added on to the list. Okay, Flying Saucers, Robot, and Greg Davies. Dr. Peter Capaldi reveals what to expect this Christmas. Now, the one bit that I found particularly interesting was right here, this last one. And this one's been making the rounds today, courtesy of Girly Letters and some other folks on Twitter. 
Is there any hint that the Christmas in the Christmas episode about the new companion following Jenna Coleman's departure? Not that I'm aware of, and this is Peter Capaldi answering. That doesn't mean I haven't met the new companion. It just means I don't know yet yet know what the outcome of it all is. Ooh, interesting there. Now, the thing is, when have we ever had a, you know, someone can, maybe I'm going nuts here. Let me know if I'm going a little bonkers. When have we ever had a new companion introduced in a Christmas special? You know, not that I can remember, you know, in, in the new series, you know, maybe I'm just losing it, but I don't think they've ever done that because generally they regard the Christmas specials as being, you know, not actually a part of the Yale series for that year, you know? So, <clears throat> but still that that's an interesting line there. And that was over here on what's on TV. And speaking of that, here's a synopsis for the episode. Okay. Okay, this is just what the doctor and viewers ordered after the sorrow of losing Clara. Poor Clara. Yeah, right. Poor Clara. She got a freaking TARDIS, and she's immortal for crying out loud, and she's running around with a shielder doing all like God knows what to the timeline until she gets zonked back to face the raven. But that's another thing. All right. Tonight's festive episode opens with a rousing chorus of Hark to Herald's Angels, sorry, Herald Angels Sing. Hilarious comic turn, turn, for, sorry, turn from Matt Lucas and our favorite Time Lord Antlers. There are gags galore as the doctor runs into River Song, who seems to have taken a couple more husbands, including a monster's robot with the face of a funny, a funny man, Greg Davies. The running joke is that River fails to recognize her Time Lord partner's newish face, is perfectly, play, is perfectly played by Alex Kingston and Peter Capaldi as they land on a space cruise packed with the galaxy's wealthiest and worst people, a fun filled festive treat. So, nice little TV guide entry there. Right, once again, 5.15 p.m. Friday the 25th. Omega Files will not be until the 26th. And the reason being is I don't want to take anyone from their families or from their loved ones for a freaking television show. That's just the way I operate. So everybody's going to have plenty of time to watch this, rewatch this. But more importantly, spend time with your family on Christmas, man. I'm not even going to be able to do that this year for very, you know, for, you know, obvious reasons you know lady g just had her surgery and whatnot and she's not going to be able to travel okay dr christmas spoilers husband's the river song delivers a slice of festive sci-fi and this is the first review now if you want to watch this and take a look at it i'm going to leave this one up to you um there is a few things that get hinted at and talked about in here and it is kind of spoilery so you may want to avoid this one altogether you know even though i've already pretty much killed a bunch of stuff right at the beginning of this video Plot the tales for john hurt's next doctor adventures have been finally been revealed and i was going to move this and i forgot to do it because it's supposed to be back over there somewhere okay now his first audio adventures are released on you know it was you know this one's one of the old ones i wanted to go over last you know this last week but i just wanted to remind everybody if you don't know it then only the monstrous the first box set of the war doctor adventures for well, big finish audio are already out and this is alluding to the second one that's going to be coming out called the infernal devices that box set and jacqueline pierce is of course in this one as you can tell and they go over each story right here give you a little synopsis and i have not yet had a chance to listen to the first box set but i plan to you know as soon as i can and like i guess i've been busy taking care of lady gallifrey man and, and that's just more important so you know, it, it, what are you, you know if you're into it, okay that was one i was going to back up and actually maybe even take out a lineup and i just forgot it <laughs> see okay further husbands of river song broadcast to be confirmed so if you are, are sorry, already confirmed so if you don't know you know when oh my god dr freedom i don't know when that river song thing going to air on christmas bay you know that christmas special you know you know but the river song you know when's going to air and here it is right here just simply look up what part of the world you're in boom 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 boom, boom. what channel is available in your area and here are the times lay, laid out for you all right all right, moving on. Say, because I got a lot to be able to like, so some of the stuff's backed up from last week. Dr. A, I'm sorry, Peter Cavaldi answers the biggest doctor question of all. Well, who does River, you know, to, who's the doctor like more, Clara or River? And he goes, I'm used to Jenna being around, so I'm finding it difficult to not imagine she'll just turn up at any moment. But then he adds in, uh, Who do you prefer, Clara or River? He goes, Clara is a very special friend, but my wife is my wife. Okay, also on Radio Times, eight things to look out for in the Dr. Christmas special. So be sure to take a look at this. You know, it's some interesting things have been thrown in here. Very interesting things, such as a very brief glimpse of some other familiar faces. 
uh, throwaway reference to the 11th Doctor. And there's a special guest role for a Game of Thrones star. You know, check this out. Okay, Husbands of River Song. These are the press interviews. And once again, these were up from last week, and I decided to throw them up again in case you guys wanted to take a look at them and you haven't seen them. You know, if you haven't, you know, here they are. Some interesting questions they asked Capaldi, you know, River, sorry, Alex Kingston and Stephen Moffat. And I, like I said, that's one of the ones I was going to put up last week. And, of course, if you feel you have missed anything regarding the Husbands of River Song, boom, here's like 12 teasers here, spoiler-free review. All this stuff is linked right here on Blogger for you. If you want to go take a look and take a look at these things, bam, all right here on one page for you. And I'm sorry this one dragged out long, but I had a buttload of stuff, and I had to sit there and whittle away you know, all the old articles from last week a few, one or two I left in here because I thought they were relevant. And once again, I just want to give a mention to the, you know, what happened to the Whovians channel um, last night. Um, apparently some, you know, actually it was the night before last now, when this airs. Um, <clears throat> apparently somebody decided to wipe out the channel. And like I said, this is the kind of tomfoolery you have to deal with sometimes on YouTube where you have morons running about thinking, oh, if I get rid of all their videos, that'll take them off the YouTube. <laughs> Wrong. Because uh, they still have all their subscribers. They still have their name. They still have their integrity. And they still have their reputation, unlike other channels. Matter of fact, I seem to recall one channel tonight, for some reason, talking about it as if they involved them. All I can say is... <laughs> The Whovians channel's only got two videos up right now. They're getting more views than you are, bub, so I'd back off. Okay, but until next time, catch you all on the flip side. Dr. Freedom out. Take care. Have a good one.